Stay tuned and let's take a look at Snake Eyes from the Classified series, but not one. Let's look at all three versions that have been released so far. Hello and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And remember, you can now hit that join button and become a channel member as well. Quite simply, show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. Today, we are taking a look at Snake Eyes from the G.I. Joe Classified series as we continue to celebrate G.I. Joe June or G.I. June. Either way, it's an excuse for me to open some of the G.I. Joe figures that I've been buying this past year that just haven't opened up yet. Now, the only figure I have officially opened and reviewed on the channel way back when, when it was first released, maybe 2019, was this G.I. Joe Classified series exclusive, Pulse exclusive, of snake eyes that I had to get imported so it actually is the very first six inch snake eyes figure released and it is zero zero on the packaging the other two I have here are from the wave one release but it's the variant and wave one now you're probably not going to be able to tell the difference just by looking at them in box because they are very subtle but you will see the original release from wave one before the reissue has the knife up here in the box where the reissue they actually put the knife in the foot, in the sheath, in the boot, because apparently people were having issues with that with the first version. So this is the re version, the re not the redeco, even though there is a slight redeco change, but yeah, this is the re-release variant version of Snake Eyes from Wave 1. But all of them are basically the same book, just different paint and deco, and a few different accessories here and there, especially in this exclusive version. But yeah, this is 00, zero and these ones are number two. So we've already looked at Roadblock, so why not continue and open up number two next? And I'm not gonna open all of these. I've already opened this one and reviewed them on the channel. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna see that, because this guy came with some extra accessories. I'm gonna open the variant version of Wave 1, um, because yeah, this is all black, and this is probably gonna be the one on my display. So without further ado, Let's do that. So here we have Snake Eyes out of the box with all of his accessories. And let me just first correct myself. In the intro, I assumed that the knife was in the sheath in the boot. However, once I've got it opened, it is the knife is here, but it's actually in a sheath around uh, the upper thigh. So I thought it was in the boot. It's not, it was up there, but the knife is definitely there. Uh, and the rest of the accessories are very similar to the exclusive version, but instead of being actual real looking guns, they have giant holes through them. And I believe that's because Hasbro can't technically sell real looking guns. That's why they reissue like small Nerf guns. But because that was an exclusive, they got away with it. But because this one is on retail shelves in public places, they can't sell real looking guns. So instead they punched holes in them. Now, I think that's an educated guess of why, but someone could tell me the real reason in the comments, but that is my right. This is, has a nice silencer attached though, as you can see, I've just already attached it. He comes with a backpack, a knife, uh, not knife, a sword, and then the sheath for the sword as well. And that fits in there, no problem at all. So uh, yeah, some nice little bunch of accessories and I like that this time he is all black. The exclusive version actually had like gray trousers uh, where well, I prefer this is all black uh, but let's zoom in and just take a look. So the main deco change with this variant version is there's no red logo on the top of the helmet. The helmet is all black, which I actually prefer the helmet being all black. I know some people like this visor being silver, like on the exclusive version, and I will show you that comparison in a minute. But yeah, this variant version of Wave 1 is all black. Doesn't have a little red mark or red air logo at the top there. It does still have it though on the chest. Uh, so that is your difference in regard to deco change. The rest seems exactly the same, but as you can see, it's shining under my lights. It's very glossy, very much black, um, and yeah, just looks good. All the sculpted details on here are nice. This harness with the grenades on is a separate piece, but then this other harness is actually attached to the figure. He's made of a separate sort of plastic, a little softer, actually can peel off the book there, but that is a little bit different in texture as well, which looks pretty good. Uh, the arms have some like buckles and pouches attached down to the belt. This is a separate piece with a bit of silver. Again, you get the logo there. Um, and it goes all the way around. And then you've got these two harnesses on the upper thighs as well. One for the sheath for the knife, which fits in no problems at all, very easily. If anything, I think that will fall out if I put it upside down. There you go, it falls out. Uh, and then the other side is for the gun. So thankfully though, there's no molded gun in here. You can actually put the gun that comes with him in here. So there's the gun that we get with him. As I said, the fake gun with the hole in, but it will fit 
in the harness, which is a nice touch, which I always like. And then you'll see here, there's an extra bit on the harness with a hollow hole in, and that is to put the silencer element of the gun and store it on the figure. So I do like when you can store all the accessories of a character on the figure. It's always nice for display. So there is his knife, and there's his gun and silencer. Um, moving down to the boots, a, le a little bit of texture difference. We've got some like really shiny knee pads, uh, and then a little bit sort of less shiny trousers, if that makes sense, and then try shiny um, boots again. I again, I don't know how to say it technically, but you know what I'm talking about when you look at it. On the back, we get the peg hole and there is a hole in this strap as well. So you can line these up and I assume that is for the backpack. So there's a look at the backpack, all black with some silver buckles. Nicely sculpted though, some more silver buckles on the side. So we can put that through the harness hole and then through the hole on the back and the peg is long enough where it will stick in. You can see it sticks out a little bit though when the harness is there, which I'm not a fan of. I'd rather it sit flush. I can sort of squeeze it that way. But yeah, there you go, that's a little bit flusher. Uh, there is a hole here on the side of the bag, and that is so we can store a gun, I suppose. Is there another hole? No, there's no other hole. So if I didn't want to store the gun, let me take the other gun off, that's where we can store the sheath for the sword, and that goes in there flushly, so now we can carry a sword, and then a sword can come out easily as well. So he can hold this gun, and then store the rest of his accessories. And he has two trigger fingers, no interchangeable hands. Uh, in the exclusive version, we did get interchangeable parts. That hand is very stiff, but there you go, he holds the gun. Um, so there we go. Now we have Snake Eyes literally holding uh, or attached all the accessories that comes in the box, um, which again, I do appreciate. Uh, and this is, again, I repeat, the variant version of Wave 1. You can see it's black and it's shiny under my lights, but I do like the all black. So let's compare it to the previous one. So here we have our variant of Wave 1 compared to the 00 Pulse Exclusive. And as you can see, they are the exact same figure, just deco changes. Even though I must admit, this uh, sort of variant of Wave 1 does feel a lot stiffer, like it doesn't feel as loose. This one gets a little bit wobbly once you start articulating them around. So I do actually prefer the feel of this one. And I actually prefer the all black look of this variant version compared to this. This does have some nice contrast with the sort of grayish green color to the black. Um, but I do prefer, uh, and all black snake eyes. He's, he's meant to be a stealth ninja after all. So I do prefer this look compared to the grayish trousers. Um, but as you can see, this one has the silver visor. This has the all black. Now, some people actually prefer having the silver visor as a contrast to the whole black body. So let's try and swap that. Okay, so I have to admit, I don't hate the silver visor on the all black body. I actually do think it's a nice contrast to the all black. Um, but still, that one with the all black again, looks decent as well. So yeah, not a bad head swap. If you do have the exclusive version, you definitely have options. And again, with accessories, this guy does come with lots more accessories than this one and more realistic looking guns. So overall, it is down to preference, of course. But I just think now having them both in hand, I think this one just feels a lot sturdier in regards to joints, which I definitely prefer in an action figure if it all stand the test of time of course but still nice to know we have options briefly mention articulation in case there is anyone out there who's never seen a snake eyes review before uh, there is a ball joint in the head and in the neck so lots of range with the head whether you want him to look up or down i reckon you can maybe not up so much but down definitely side to side and tilting you can uh, arms will go all the way up at the shoulder there is a double jointed elbow as well and a swivel at the top uh, of the forearm there is a ball joint at the waist and an ab crunch so lots of movement. And as I said, this variant version does feel a lot sturdier. So the ab crunch is really good forward and really good back. And with that ball joint, you can get a bit of wobble and wiggle as well. So great range at the sort of middle area. The legs are drop down, so they will drop down, up and down there. But then the legs always go up to 90. The harness sort of gets in the way there. Otherwise, it would be a straight line. You can do the splits. Legs go forward really good as well. And back, not so much, but that's fine. That's natural for a human being's anatomy. Double jointed knees are pretty good. Can he kick his own butt? Yes, he can. Uh, and there is a swivel at the boot, nicely hidden. A swivel at the top of the thigh as well, hidden underneath the harnesses, which is a nice touch. And of course, he has ankle pivot and it will rock as well side to side. So for motion, for articulation for a ninja, I think this guy's got it. And here we have Snake Oz compared to the rest of the G.I. Joe Classified series Wave 1 Redecoed variants. So I've obviously already got a review up for Roadblock. Expect to see reviews for Duke and Scarlet this week. And I'll be opening G.I. Joe's 
all month long for G.I. Joe June. For our ninja comparison, here we have a Marvel Legends hand ninja, which as you can see is a little bit taller than Snake Eyes, but not much taller. Honestly, they scale pretty well. And then here we have an articulated icon, which is just a little bit shorter than Snake Eyes. So again, both of these scales can work. He's like smack bang in the middle and can work with both types of ninja. But just for one more Marvel Legend comparison, just because I love him, Here's Hellfire Hank. So there's your Bucky Cat body. He scales nicely with that. So yeah, yet again, these figures work perfectly with Legends. So final thoughts, I'm very happy with this Snake Eyes figure. As I said, it is technically the third version of this Snake Eyes we have got so far. And I actually prefer the deco on this one overall because of the all black version. Uh, compared to the exclusive one with the greyish trousers, I definitely think this fits better for the Snake Eyes character. I wouldn't have minded an interchangeable sort of option for hands and a different visor maybe because the exclusive one did come with interchangeable hands which are better for posing, where this one just comes with two trigger finger hands, which obviously Obviously makes sense for snake eyes but it would have been nice to have some options and of course the guns don't make sense here they're completely fake with big holes in so that's not a good look either but again I get it Hasbro they're selling toys to kids on shelves I get that they can't have realistic guns so I understand but uh I would have preferred maybe an exclusive option that was actually accessible to the UK and not that exclusive one I had to import because Pulse didn't exist at the time. But anyway, I'm rambling. If you are still watching this video, listening to me now, that means you are interested in my G.I. Joe thoughts and opinions as I open these up throughout G.I. Joe June. So make sure you stick around on the channel as I will continue to open up raw G.I. Joe figures from my collection uh, throughout the month of June. So you know what to do. Please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Much, much appreciated. And if you want to, you can now hit that join button and become a channel member as well. Show some love or join the members club. Either or is much appreciated. You can follow me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. You can tweet me at Dan Who Reviews. But as always, people, my name is Dan W and I will, of course, see you on the next one.